groups transformed into knights who shaped the most dreaded armed force on the planet. A dauntless armed force annihilated the weight of obliteration any place it proceeded to travel. Killed in serious slaughters. Surpassed the quantity of casualties 40 million individuals. The title of the most ridiculously horrendous armed force. Ever. Wahhaba the entire old world. Until the Muslims put an end. Legend in quite possibly the most popular and fiercest battle. We will get to know. Cut into the starting points of the Mughal armed force, and its most significant techniques and strategies are. What's more, his apparatuses. For what reason is it grouped among the most well-known armed forces ever? Furthermore, how? Successful Qutuz warriors? The legend of this extraordinary armed force? From groups dissipated to the a bound together armed force? The Mongols were the start of groups of travelers spread in the Eurasian steppes, and they have dominated the striking and plundering of their neighbors until the Jindes Khan came to join all the Mongol clans under his standard to change straightforward Bedouin assaults to fights and wars settled domains complete on the ground. They would not have prevailed without the procedures that they followed since the beginning of their military. At that point, they were portrayed as having grown up. Backs of ponies. In a real sense right sentence. As ponies were the premise of. The plan of a military, and their tactical positions, and pay rates were connected by the nature of. Ponies they ride. Right away, Genghis Khan collected the Mongols into. A huge armed force partitioned into two sections. Little militaries don't surpass the quantity of individuals for his. Every one of them, the large numbers called the emperor's powers, which are being restored from the Mughal head himself. He picks them from the those near him and his close family members. Were they better than the more delicate undertakings, for example, watching and accompanying the emperor's royal residence? What's more, they had unique gear and ponies of an uncommon kind. They are partitioned into infantry and unit. Exceptional gunnery. What's more, they are largely dependent upon what was called Al Mansa House at that point. It. A military regulatory unit that would sort out the military and its pay rates. The military additionally separated. Moguls to four branches. Aswan's cavalry and infantry are accountable for. Cannons, cook, and naval force. Every one of them are branches or layers of a. Incredible Mughal armed force. The most significant was gunnery. Here are the subtleties of this. Game plans tribesmen. Knight's weapon. The most unrivaled part of the Mughal armed force. They are selected by pioneers in Alman's Ibdar. What's more, they realize that they are proficient. High field. They are recognized from the remainder of the officers. Wearing Mughal garments. As. They generally use blades, lances and safeguards, and infrequently convey the weapons, their safeguards are made of steel or calfskin. He additionally lost the utilizing elephants by the Mughal armed force, which were ridden by the commanders of primarily used to ship products and substantial weapons. The military additionally incorporated the unit of camel horsemen painstakingly browsed the men of the locales. Big guns is made like Rajasthan. The knights of different characterizations were the mystery. Mughal power was frequently detonating. Infantry is additionally enlisted by and some of the time. By the sovereign himself. Where the infantry of the sovereign was known as the name. Awesome and they are in the second level of the military and get helpless pay rates in. Known for their helpless hardware and absence of discipline. They are separated into Bandukshi. Or on the other hand arms carriers, fighters and experts. They are not apportioned a huge weapon. Hindus and don't for the most part wear any protective layer. Mounted guns. One of the most significant. The Mughal armed force. Where heads utilized it on the size of. The most well known of them is Emperor Babur, who depended on big guns to set up the Mughal Sultanate in the Indian subcontinent. The desert. 
mobile parts of substantial gunnery, light ordnance, bombs, and contenders. Known. Substantial weapons it was costly, weighty and hard to move. Consequently, elephants are utilized to drag them to the combat zone. The. On the combat zones, leaving incredible follows. Then, at that point, comes the maritime ordnance, which. Light which is the most helpful on the war zone. They are principally fabricated and are as bronze and pony drawn. The big guns additionally incorporated the firearms. Turning, which was controlled by the camels, and this sort was known for its adequacy in a fight. As the days passed, the situation with the mogul big guns declined, particularly with the approach of European iron guns. One of a kind military, is the most fragile part of the Mughal armed force. Albeit had. The Mughal Empire had many boats, yet it was tiny. Moderately. Its principal mission is theft and boat burglary, and it has a presence. Few contrasted with different units in the Mughal Wars. Chilazor. Slave troopers of the Mughal armed force. The vast majority of them are explicit armed force and were an equal power to the soldiers of fortune with exceptionally free control. Leaders depended vigorously on and were exceptionally faithful to their Indian. Their chief, as these were seized or purchased from their families since the beginning. Nails. Furthermore, prepared under the sponsorship of the Mughal armed force and its administration. Yet, not at all like. Of the Muslim armed forces at that point. The Mongols didn't depend on the slave armed force as the fundamental, and even they were appointed extremely unassuming undertakings. Strategies. Powers. The Mughal armed force sought after military strategies and techniques. Favored way. It empowered him to govern the antiquated world. Their impact stretched out over Asia. Portions of the Middle East and Eastern Europe. Genghis Khan had put separated strategies for assaulting the strongholds of the foes. Specialists' right was. Also, unfamiliar professionals were in charge of the military. One of the uniqueness of the military is the. Mongols forestalled the exchange of troops between units, as every officer was free in A. His unit helped them, and leads them in the manner he sees fit. Here, the opposition. Between units to do bigger assaults. As indicated by this thought, the military and its officers. Mongols know about, into little units of up to 15 units. At times. To encompass the adversaries and set ambushes and pursue those escaping from them effectively arises. Individual warriors were likewise answerable for their gear and weapons and the obligation of. Totally. Normally each fighter keeps three or four ponies. What is? They are permitted to change their ponies during long travel without having to. To stop tired creatures. The ponies essentially rest from conveying their nights. While voyaging. What's more, the knight changes the pony at whatever point he feels tired. This is conceded. Officers and ponies had the option to battle and assault. As occurred with them in a fight. Did right off the bat in the year 1241. Where? Concealed to 100 miles every day of the front line. Which Hungary? A military before them. Likewise, these were exploiting the occasions when the. Nobody anticipates an intrusion from it. During their success of Ruskov they utilized the streams for the. As interstates. As a general rule, winter was a period of intrusion for themselves and the. In contrast to the armed forces of the world at that point. On the war zone, they were surveying the condition of their foe, assuming they felt powerless, they sounded the drums for notice. It is an indication that the they need to assault the Toxophilite straightforwardly. Everybody dissimilar to anticipated cannons, the Mughal armed force didn't go through exceptional or cruel preparing, yet at the same the dependence on adaptability. The administrator gives his fighters adaptability in the doing orders, as they should carry out the greatest objective of the arrangement. 
it has become subject to quick acquiescence to orders. Along these lines, Mongols, the snags of unreasonable discipline that have consistently upset armed forces from since forever, by considering each in the military liable for the entire armed force, everybody is faithful to their obligations, their objectives, one another, and their bosses, apparatuses, and weapons. Mughal armed forces were known for their nimbleness, and that was what gave them free development. They were sharp that the fighter's instruments would not additionally hinder the his development. Each fighter conveyed his food with him. It is an amount of meat. Dried and reasonable weapon. With respect to them, they were great ponies. Which can. Knight drained it and lived on its milk during the assaults. With respect to the military's gear, it is. Weighty and they are brought by chariots that convey guns. Maybe extra amounts of lances and bolts. The Mongols were additionally interesting in. Field of correspondences. They set up an arrangement of postal handoff stations called Orto. They had the option to direct speedy correspondence that covered. Administrations of the Mughal sovereign all. As in frozen combat zones. They took on explicit images and identifications to convey between them, which they utilized signal banners, trumpets, and once in a while even bolts. The Their weapons, the most popular of which was the Mughal Bao, which is the primary to the Mughal powers. It is made of creature horns and wood. It additionally stayed to Skewer was the primary weapon of the steppe champions for multiple thousand years. As The Mongols were very utilizing it. The lances of the Mongols have three sorts, as indicated by the weight of its weight. They are valuable for astonishing the adversary and alarming the ponies previously. Genuine hostile. Concerning the Mongolian blades, they are swords and Mongolian Turks marginally bowed. They are recognized by their shape and construction that made them simple to utilize. Additionally from the weapons of the Mongols, black powder, and the bombs known as thunder bombs, which are utilized in attack in the last phases of the Mongol-Chinese conflict start. They likewise knew and utilization of the lance of fire in their conflicts, which they called the lance of fire. The bird.